If you want to know how to avoid YouTube copyright strikes, then be sure to stick around until the end because I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. What's going on? My name is Devin Street, helping you build your online presence, and today we're going to be talking about how you can avoid YouTube copyright strikes to keep your channel in good standings. But if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's a new video every single Sunday showing you how you can grow on YouTube. So before we talk about how to avoid YouTube copyright strikes, we need to get across what is copyright. So my definition of copyright is basically copyright is someone's legal right to something that they've created and the ability to let other people use that. And for the most part, people don't want to give their copyright away to other people. Let's think about this. You make a YouTube documentary and post it on YouTube and you get 10 million views on it. And you don't have any copyright on this somehow because copyright doesn't exist and basically people just steal this from you and start uploading their own and people are going to that video instead of yours and you can't do anything about it. You can just watch them get views from your documentary that you created. So obviously you wouldn't want other people to make money off of your work that you've created. So that's why copyright is in place. It's usually in all countries that you can find. It changes from country to country, the laws, but YouTube copyright is its own thing that is very important to keep in mind. You see, YouTube is trying to protect people's copyright of things they own. This could be anything from a movie, a song, to another YouTube video. So let's say you just bought the movie Rogue One. You can't just burn that onto a disc and then upload it onto YouTube and then let everyone watch Rogue One for free. That's just taking away the money from Lucasfilm. So copyright's in place to keep you from doing that kind of stuff. So now how do we avoid these copyright strikes in our videos? Because it can be pretty serious because YouTube can delete your channel from copyright strikes. So you don't want your channel deleted at all so you need to pay attention to this because this deals with very serious matters that could have your channel deleted and have you end up in court. So pay attention and just to get this out of the way, I'm not a lawyer in any way. I don't fully understand every single aspect of copyright, but this should keep you safe on YouTube. My number one rule is don't use fair use as your safety net. If you don't know what fair use is, it's this law that as long as you're taking something and changing it in some way, it's okay for you to use. But here's the honest thing. Fair use does not hold up that well in many court systems. So on YouTube, if you're trying to say, well, I'm just using fair use, then that's not the best argument. Sure, you can take this, and if you're remixing it so much, then it is your work. If you're just commenting on cer some certain topic, then that's fine. But you have to definitely be careful with this because fair use is a very, very tricky ground to deal with. And I would never rely on fair use because it can still wind you up in trouble. And most of the time, what you think is fair use, uh, the US, US government or the UK government or any form of government or YouTube itself may think differently than you. Just because you think something's fair use, they may think something different. So just keep that in mind and steer clear of fair use because it's not that safe as you think it may be. The second tip is pretty obvious. Just don't use other people's stuff, especially without their permission. And basically just don't take people's stuff. Don't take uh, clips from movies and just throw it into your video thinking you're safe. Don't take people's music, especially. Music is the worst thing on YouTube for copyright. Don't take that music and throw it into your video because it's most likely going to get you a copyright claim or a copyright strike. So you need to look out for these kind of things. Avoid using other people's stuff because trust me, there's other ways to do this that we're going to talk about right now. So you want to use some music in your YouTube videos, but you can't use the newest song by Drake or something. So what are you supposed to do? Well, there's lots of things 
called royalty free music and no copyright music. This kind of stuff doesn't have a copyright on it and it's fair to use based on some certain conditions. These conditions could be you have to pay a membership to get to these sites that have these music or you may have to just put a credit to the people who made the music or sometimes there's nothing you have to do you just take the music and put it into your video. The best place you can find this kind of music on YouTube is a channel called No Copyright Sounds. They upload all kinds of music, all kinds of genres over different tones, uh, different types of music. It's great to use. All you have to do is uh, usually give credit to the person who created the music and then you can just simply use it. It even gives you a link to go directly to download this music to put it right into your video that you're editing. Now that we've talked about that music, how do you do this kind of video stuff? Well, there's also a thing called uh, stock video that you can use in your videos to create that image that you need. And right now, on the screen right now, this is some stock video that you could use in your YouTube videos for absolutely free. I got this from a site called Pexels.com. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description you can go there it's absolutely free to download these videos just make sure you're following all the rules when you put this into your video but there's also a paid service called video blocks it has so so many different types of stock video and I'll leave a link to that in the description below too so you can check that out it is paid but there is so much there and also you can get a free trial just to check it out for a couple days I highly suggest you just give it a try because there's so much on there and they have pretty much any video you're looking for so it's gonna be very very helpful when you need a video to create some kind of image to your audience when you're uh, editing your videos these are the simple ways that you can stay clear of getting a YouTube copyright strike and you're going to keep yourself and your channel safe and that way you shouldn't have any problems on YouTube. And shout out to April Braswell who commented on a video telling me that she subbed, she loves the content on here and she can't wait to check out, uh, tell her friends about it and all that and she is just a great person i'm glad she's here on the channel to check out these videos but if you want to get a shout out like april all you have to do is go down into the comments and tell me why you subscribed and what you like about the video be sure you're subscribed to the channel i can check to make sure if you're subscribed and just keep in mind commenting multiple times telling me you subscribed could get you eliminated from being shouted out in a video but if you want to grow on YouTube and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe icon right there and you'll be subscribed to the channel. And then check out another video. I want to thank you for watching until the very end of this video and I'll see you in the next video.